In this video, I'm going to show you a quick technique to get your image from looking like this to this. And there are a lot of ways you can achieve this, but this is actually my way of achieving a flare that looks realistic to how the sun actually creates a flare when you have it shine against your lens. So let's get right into it without much ado. All right, so this is actually a retouched image in uh, Photoshop. I actually did this in Lightroom with a color grading and I pushed it to Photoshop for the final retouch. Okay, so um, basically what I do anytime I have my image in here, which needs this particular effect to take it to the next level, what I do is I create a new layer, an empty layer actually. And once that empty layer is created, what I do is I find my brush tool and pick a color that looks like um, almost uh, like the golden hour sunset because that's actually when i shot this image around 4 35 pm all right so once i have the hue selected you need to ensure that your brush settings is set all the way to zero with the hardness and your opacity is at 100 flow is at 100 and with the empty layer selected or activated i'm going to click in the middle of the image if you are not careful for instance let me deactivate this and create a new layer and that's what actually happens when you have your brush size all the way big like this once you hit it because it's a very soft brush the edges go all the way to the borders of the image and when it comes to when you have to reduce the size you might have some hard cuts over there at the edges all right so that's not what you want what you actually want to do is to ensure that you have a small size which you can enlarge and it'll still give you the soft edges as so okay so with this selected i'm going to hit the brush um, color again all right with the layer selected i'm going to hit the color over here the fill and i'm going to give it a little bit of um, a tinted one not too strong as before and with the brush to select it i'm going to make it a little bit smaller than before and hit right there in the center again then i'll continue just like so consecutively until i move into a very pale yellow color just like that still on the same empty layer all right so once that is done i can actually move this because it's on an empty layer right what i'm going to do next is change my blend mode to screen all right and what it does is it gives it a translucent look which looks like the flare that comes from the sun during a golden hour or around sunset all right so with your preferred size you can position it anywhere but make sure that the light is actually coming from a place that looks realistic naturally looking at this image because of where the shadows are it tells me that the light is coming from the right but um, you can go against the flow if you really understand how light works and you want to beat around it, all right? So looking at back there in the background, you notice that the light is hitting the side a whole lot more. And because it looks warm in the tone, I'm going to keep my flare that way somewhere like that and reduce my opacity from 100 to somewhere around 85, all right, cool, which looks quite good. And I can increase it if I want. And the flare can actually touch your subject if it still looks good as mine does okay just like so and yeah basically that's that so we've taken the image that looked like this all the way to that all right so yeah basically that's how i create my flares to make it look a little bit more realistic when you have to create yourself and this actually ensures that you have an image looking a little bit better with finesse attached to it. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button so that any time I upload a new video over here, you'll be the first to see it and to watch it. Once again, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. See ya.